Hi, my name is Reggie with Project Generation D. Um, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create some cool um, effects racks down here for performance. So I'm just going to give you a quick overview of what I have down here. Then I'm going to show you how you can build your own effects rack from scratch. So as you see down here, um, I have my macro set up coming from these different effects over here. So what I can do, I'll give you an example. Um, I have Fade to Gray, so Fade to Gray sounds something like this. So we have that. We have um, a low cut, high cut, and mid cut right here. So I'll cut off my highs, lows. It's a cool effect if you're going to do something like a, like some DJ and some mixing, um, just things like that. I have my grid set up to my beat repeat. So right here, I have my beat repeat actually mapped to a different knob. So when I turn this knob, it turns it on and off. But I have it mapped to the grid. Excuse me, let me go back to the main. I have it mapped to the grid and I have it mapped to variation. So if I'm playing the beat, just my variation. And now I can do some cool effects with that. And then I also have on my last one, I have an auto filter in here. So if I want to do some cool effects with this auto filter while it's playing, I have my um, frequency and my cue map to two different knobs so when I'm playing so I can do some cool stuff like that as well now I'm going to show you how you can build this um, this rack from scratch um, personally I started there's a lot of different stock and um, performance and DJ setups in Ableton Live that comes with it. But I'll start with the fade to gray because I like that fade to gray and it's already set up for me. So you see that it's mapped but then I have seven other macros that I can use and drag in different effects that I want to use. So what I'll do is I'll expand my rack and I'll start with say the EQ. So for that low cut and the mid cut and the high cuts I usually just start with a um, the, e the EQ3 excuse me. So you drag that in. It's very simple. You're going to right click and you're going to map to the next one under fade to gray. And of course you're going to want to name these so that you know which one's which. So I got low cut and I'm going to go to my mid. So I'm going to map that one to the next one. I'm going to rename them. That's going to be mid cut. And then my last one, I'll map to, to the fourth box. And this will be high cut. Now what you want to do with these, if you don't, if you don't set the parameters, this will go all the way up. Excuse me, wrong knob. This will go all the way up to six. You want it to go to zero because you don't want to boost any frequencies. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to your EQ, the three ones that you have mapped, either any one, and you're going to right click, and you're going to go to the macro map. Now when you go up here to the top, you see I got high cut, low cut, and mid cut. For my max, right here is six decibels. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put that at zero. So I'm just going to click on each one, and put it on zero. And then I'm going to right click back on here and exit out of the macro map mode. So now when I'm in this, when I turn it all the way up, it only goes up to zero. So I'm not going to boost any frequencies. This is only going to cut a frequency. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I already have a beat repeat in here that I use, but you can you know build any kind of beat repeat that you like to sound the way you want it, want it to sound. And then you can just drag that in. Or you can start with a stock one. So what I do here is the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go into my MIDI map mode. Oh, hold on. And I'm going to click on the on and off. And I'm going to assign that to a different knob on my controller. And then I'll exit out of MIDI map. So now, when I turn this knob, you see it turns it on and off. Now, really, the things I like to, me personally, the things I like to map are my grid. So I'm going to map that to there to the fifth box. I'm going to rename that grid. And then I also like to map variation. So I'll map this here. And that's my variation. So now when I turn I'll make sure that my rack selected. When I turn this you see it adjusts my grid and then my variation. And then when I turn my other knob that I have for on and off it will cut that beat repeat on and off. Now lastly what I like to use is um, an auto filter but then again like I said you can use any one of these 
um, effects. You could use delays or limiters or whatever you want to use um, in your effects rack. So what I'll do here is I'm going to map this one, my frequency, to the sixth box, seventh box, excuse me. Can't type today. And then I'm going to map my Q to the eighth box. So now, when I'm back on my effects rack, if I turn this knob, I can turn the frequency down and cut, you know, cut my highs and and then, you know, you can adjust this to whichever way you want to do it. If you want to do a high cut, a low cut or whatever. And then I can adjust my cue. So when I'm playing Then of course if you want to do something like a um a wah wah effect or something like that, you can adjust your rate to whatever you want it to do and kind of increase the amount so when you're playing it. like that. So now that I have my rack, of course what I'm going to want to do is rename it. So I'll just name this um, PGD1. And then I'm going to close out my auto filter right here. I'm going to go right here on my PGD box right here, with my effects rack. I'm going to go right here. I'm going to click save. So it's going to of course save it under my performance and DJ folder. It comes up right here. I'm just going to press enter. So now that's saved. So if I was to click on this and delete it and drag it back in, everything that I have is already set up. The only thing you're going to have to do um, again is, a, is map this on and off since I deleted it. So you map that, turn off your MIDI map, now you're good to go. So all my effects, you see I have my, oops, I have my fade to gray my low cut, mid cut, high cut, I have my grid on my beat repeat and my on and off turn to another knob and then I have my frequency and my cue on my um, auto filter so when I'm playing something And I can go on and you know I can create a couple of these different racks or I you know it just depends on how you want to perform your different sets and depending on the genre but for hip hop this is all I really need and then you know you can add another one of these racks with totally different effects so of course you can select that and, and map that to your controller as well so that's pretty much how you're gonna set up um, your custom performance racks in Ableton Live um, be sure to check out projectgenerationd.com for more videos I'm Reggie and I'll see you later happy beat making